um, uh, we're coming up on final projects and um, I want to go over some ideas with you. What I've seen a lot of is that you guys are kind of touching on ideas of the pandemic and isolation and I kind of want to give a theme, although that's not ironclad. Uh, if you've got an idea, I'm willing to listen to it, but kind of pandemic living. And what I see is that reflected in the cover of the New York Times, like... New Yorker. I mean, New Yorker. Uh, here's uh, just the cover of um, a New Yorker, probably looks to me like a, a cut paper collage, which you guys are familiar with. Uses just three colors, gets the idea, shows the inside of buildings, what people are doing while they're isolated. Uh, we we'll go on to the next one that just shows a, a medical worker waiting for a train in exhaustion and he's so much in focus because it's it, it's full color on him the rest of the figure is less so you know it looks like an above ground station and uh, you know he's got a coffee cup and he's reflecting so it really has a really poignant kind of feel to it okay I go on to the next one which is about graduation so it shows all these different faces a variety of masks a variety of, of especially New York kids, uh, you know, really ethnically diverse and all of them with their masks on and that's the reality, right? And it's beautiful in terms of portraiture that you look at all these students and, you know, they're from all over. She has like a little uh, spot on her forehead. She has braids. Uh, it really gets into everybody's identity. We go on to this one. It's just shots of New York, and it, it's uh, multiple, kind of like zoom shots, which has become what we've gotten used to. Even though we're not doing it, it's everywhere in terms of those multiple shots. And it just shows the city like completely quiet. Then it's spring, and there's gloves, and uh, there's flowers, there's, there's buildings. Um, here's, your, here's your phone. There's architectural details. It's just... It's interesting, I mean, I'm kind of interested in that as a storyboard, but what's cool about, I think, in, in this is that it's not all the same size. It's broke, the page is broken up like a patchwork, which really, really pulls you in. If it was all just the same size, it would be really static. We go to this one, which is more of an illustration, uh, probably watercolor over the top of an of a Indian ink drawing. It's got all the cross hatching. This woman looks out the window at birds on top of a stoplight uh, stop stand, which is the kind of thing that you see. The view is up. It's extreme in its viewpoint. It's a real illustration. Beautifully done. In this New Yorker, there's also uh, one of these New Yorkers. There's also this beautiful photograph of this guy waiting on line out in, um, uh, out in Queens to get food. So... Um, you know, there's that element of it, of like how our poorest people are suffering because they're not working. And, you know, uh, whether they're illegal or not, it doesn't matter to me. It, it's, you know, it's so such a sympathetic photograph. That's a real thing. So, let's stop right there. That's good.